Turki Gary, the Executive Director of Marketing and Corporate Communication for Arroyo Cruises and Cruise Saudi. Tell me all about this business. So Cruise Saudi is a 100% PIF company. It's owned by, uh, by PIF. And uh, we're, we're trying to build the cruise industry in, in the region, uh, in Saudi in specific and in the uh, Middle East overall. Uh, we're, we're, we're building cruise terminals and ports. We're operating them and welcoming the international cruise line. At the same time, we launched our first new uh, brand, which is Arroyo Cruises, which is uh, a remarkably Arabian experience that we're trying to provide to the source market of Arabia and Saudi specific. Tell me more about the experience. Okay, so what we're trying to do as an experience, we're, we're, we're calling it a remarkably Arabian experience. So we're taking it from the heritage of Saudi, the Hafawa, which is the hospitality of Saudi, uh, and we're trying to present this in a very modern way, which is, we call it a remarkably Arabian way, to our guests, offering a different kind of entertainment, but with an elevated uh, Arabian experience, offering FMB uh, around 15, per, uh, 15 restaurants and lounges inside our ships, that has a lot of the Arabian experience touch into it. At the same time, we're focusing on our Arab source market. We're focusing in Saudi in, in particular, but we're moving into a complete GCC, which is the Gulf countries. So calling it UAE, Oman, Kuwait, and Bahrain, or other countries in the Red Sea, uh, that is Egypt and Jordan as well. So we're trying to provide our experience, the remarkably Arabian experience to those markets and to give them the first ever cruise line, the Arabian cruise line, in the region for, for them to enjoy a one of one of a kind experience. Tell me about the, the, the destinations. So we're, we're dividing the destination into three different seasons. So we're starting with the Red Sea as the main destination. Jeddah is our main home port. We're going to Egypt in, uh, in uh, Sharm el-Sheikh or other, uh, other cities like Cairo and Sukhna, the port and Sukhna, or Ghardaga. Uh, the other the other ports in the Red Sea, and at the same time we're going to Jordan, Al Aqaba. Uh, Aqaba is uh, it has the Petra UNESCO uh, UNESCO UNESCO sites. At the same time we're having a private island in the Red Sea, part of the Red Sea uh, Global. Uh, we're operating it and activating it, and it's gonna be only for the cruise uh, guests. So they're gonna go and enjoy one of the best islands in uh, in the Red Sea. That's the first season. We have the second season that's the Arabian Gulf to serve the whole GCC countries. So we're starting as a home port from the MAM, and we're going to Dubai uh, in UAE, Dubai, uh, Abu Dhabi, Ben Yas, and going beyond that, maybe Oman and Qatar uh, at later stages. That's the second season. We still have more. So uh, we're going to the mid in the summer between between uh, Turkey and Greece. Istanbul is a main home port, uh, main uh, home port, and we're gonna go a seven night cruises into that area. So that's what we're offering. And tell me the timings of this. So uh, uh, we started our uh, we started our sorry, we launched our brand last year uh, in June uh, 24, 23 And what uh, I do is I'll start again. That's good because we can. Okay. It's okay. It's yeah. all good. Yeah. I did brilliant, brilliant so far. So so tell me about the timings for all of this. So we launched our brand last year uh, by mid year last year, and we we're starting commercial and selling this year in in this week. So we're launching it in ATM. Uh, to book through our website uh, and through travel agents contact center that we have. What we're trying to do is actually start sailing in December, mid-December and we'll start it from Jeddah. So we're starting a uh, full sailing, a full sailing that starts three nights and four nights in the Red Sea uh, and that will remain till, uh, till summer and they're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go to the mid and go to an extensive uh, seven nights uh, that is actually offering for our Arabian guests as well. Wherever we are in the uh, globally, even Red Sea, uh, Arabian Gulf, or the Mediterranean, we're going to focus on the Arabian source market that we're providing, as I, uh, as I said before, as a remarkable Arabian experience that we're trying to provide to our customers. And of course, as you said, you've launched here at, a, at a Arabian Travel Market in Dubai. How important is ATM to you? ATM is very important. Actually, it's a huge, huge uh, event. Uh, we're seeing a lot of partners that we're meeting. We're signing a lot of MOUs under the name of Arroyo Cruises. So we're signing travel agents, we're signing with uh, NBC, one of the biggest platform that, uh, that is available uh, globally, uh, and in, in, sorry, uh, that is available in the region, uh, NBC, and we're signing 
couple of other uh, MOUs just to do um, major partners with Arroyo Cruises and and beyond that. So hopefully all of that to provide the experience that we're giving to, to, our, uh, to our guests. And what's been the response been so far? Uh, it's actually amazing. We're getting an amazing response because we're introducing Arroya. This is our first ship. Uh, and with the name that is Arabian Roya, which means the Arabian vision or Arabian dream. And that's where the name came from. So we're really sticking to our heritage and beliefs uh, as, as Saudi. The response is amazing. Everybody is loving the experience. The booth uh, that we have in ATM is non-stop. Everybody is coming in very interested as this is the first Arabian cruise line. So that's something new. We're trying to build an industry in Saudi and in the region. And hopefully we're going to go bigger than that. Thank you so much for sharing today. Thank you. Thank you for having me.